me that you hate hungry orphans? No. More cops. You know, guys, in due time, I'm gonna build an EK hatch. I've been coming here from time to time and seeing one of these in here. I just sit in it and I feel kind of like at home. But uh, your boy can't afford it right now. Oof. Bite it. Okay, it's like two of everything. It's got an innovative traction bar. It's got six puck, XTD, nothing fancy. I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update. <clears throat> I'm leaving these camera arms here because you can kind of see the bushings like wearing down. These are blocks. These are uh, trailing arms from, I believe, the EF if this is an SI I don't know uh, yep it's got a sunroof so these are EF trailing arms I don't need them because I still have my CRX ones um, so this is a S1 tranny this is a YS1 could potentially be a B16 I don't know dang it it's got a really nice seat. What is that, S2000? Man. I was hoping the suspension was here. Oh, they stripped it. It's got some true hearts. Just rears though. My GoPro and my microphone is super wet. Now, I was walking around the yard, I left my uh, wheelbarrow unattended, and uh, when I came back and got it, I noticed my GoPro was in the freaking water, the mud. Man, look at the toe, super off. <laughs> so yeah, once I get the exhaust built for this car, first things first, alignment shop. But damn, she needs to bathe, cause uh, she dirty. So now that this car is in this spot, I kind of feel like working on it. Still got some propane in my tank. And uh, obviously I'm away from the rain except this crap, but I'm not gonna be, you know, laying on the floor. So I'm not worried about it. And uh, fuck it, let's put the turbo key on. Got the wastegate bolted to the turbo manifold. I'm gonna give you guys a better look on this wastegate placement. Now, I read a comment uh, today that uh, stated this is not gonna work. Now, if you guys look at the old school ram horn or actually fabricators before, um, you know, doing teardrop wastegate style, it used to just come out like this. Spool and Performance had it like this, Full Race had it like this, and uh, just coming out right there is definitely a lot better than the check that it was doing before, where it had to go down and then back up. This one right here should uh, work out, if not contain the boost a lot better than what it was before. If that makes any sense, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this installed. Gotta take off the header, and then I gotta put a turbo on first before the manifold, and then once the manifold is bolted to the turbo, then we can lift it up and uh, bolt it to the head. Man, that is just so perfect right there. Straight up, teardrop right out the hood. Short and simple. Moy. B. Moy. Bon. Bram. Moy. Apparently the GoPro doesn't like me speaking Cambodian, so I uh, got everything all buttoned up. The return line, the feed line, the wastegate, the uh, manifold to the head, and the O2 sensor. It sounds good, it's idling, and uh, I'm trying to see if I have any extra material 
to make a, a teardrop coming out the hood probably about right here the original one sits over here but uh i'm gonna keep that one and just make a whole new up pipe so um right now i'm probably just gonna take it for a drive maybe do some rain hits i don't know but i want to see if the boost is somewhat um you know holding instead of spiking 20 plus and uh we'll pull it back up figure out something with the up tube and um that'll be pretty much it for today and we'll continue tomorrow That shit holds nine pounds, baby. That means tomorrow, if we have a little bit of uh, drier weather, I'm gonna hook the boost controller back up and try to get it to like 10, 15 pounds. Hey, it feels really good. I'm excited. Thank you, Kel. Thank you, Red Zone. Thank you, uh, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, Chewy for, for holding the camera for me, man. Excuse me. Shoo shoo.
shit. <laughs>